Hey, I'm Jeff with Gold Circle in Lexington, Tennessee. Hope you're having a good day. I have to take about a month long break from my videos because I've been busy trying to get crop out of field and chasing combines and that kind of thing. But we wanted to come back today with a little bit of an educational video involving 3016 tractors, specifically the difference between a hydrostatic transmission unit and a shuttle transmission unit. Now, a lot of people know that there's those two differences, but a lot of people don't really realize what the differences are. So today, I've got two Mahindra 3016 tractors, both of them four wheel drive, both of them have the loader. One of them is a hydro unit, one of them is a shuttle unit. And so we're gonna take you through on each unit what the difference is and what your transmission, shifting options and patterns and how you drive it and the difference that it makes when you're actually out there working. So, give us just a second and the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to drive a shuttle transmission unit. Okay, so I'm sitting on a shuttle transmission unit. This particular tractor has a high and a low and one, two, three, four. High, low, one, two, three, four. That means it has eight gears. The beauty of it is, is that it has eight forward gears and eight reverse gears. If you'll back up just a little bit, I'm gonna start it up and show you. So for every forward, you also have a reverse. This transmission is gear on gear. You have a clutch, very reliable, very durable. And this is how you shift it. Start the unit. So now I'm sitting on the 3016 Hydro unit. Rather than gear shifts, this tractor has three ranges, low, medium, and high. In each range, you have infinite speeds because you push this pedal down here on the floor, forward to go forward, and backward to go backward. Forward to go forward, and backward to go backward. It has cruise control, which means that when you get the speed that you want, if you want to go that speed for a long time without having to hold pressure on it, you can lock the pedal in place and that will keep it going the same speed without you having to actually apply your foot pressure to that pedal. That's for mowing, bush hogging, that kind of thing when you're going to be doing the same speed over a long period of time. But the moving forward and backward on this is very easy just like the shuttle transmission except it involves your right foot. So we're going to back up and I'm going to start it and show you what I'm talking about there. excels for mowing and doing things like that. It's very good for back and forth shuttle operation. The downside to the hydro is, is that you don't quite have the pushing power necessarily that you have with a gear on gear transmission. So if you're gonna be doing heavy, heavy, heavy duty motor work, you might wanna think a little harder about the shuttle transmission than the hydrostatic transmission, especially over time. We see erosion in the hydrostatic units of all brands. It doesn't matter whether it's this one, orange one, green one, or anything else. You, sit, you tend to see some erosion of power when the tractor's seven, eight, nine, ten years old. Just a fact of life. Nothing to worry about, just gonna happen. So that's the basic difference between a gear transmission and a hydrostatic transmission. One thing I do wanna add about the hydrostatic transmission that a lot of people ask, does it have a clutch? It doesn't have a clutch inside the tractor, but it does have a clutch pedal. Because so many people are used to hitting that clutch, this is called an itching pedal, and it stops the hydraulic oil flow to the transmission in case you need to stop and use this pedal for some reason, 
you can clutch it and the tractor will stop. Here's your ranges, low, medium, and high. You'll do all your work in medium. Creeping is for low, road gear is for high. And that's the basic design and layout of a hydrostatic transmission. Hey, I want to take just a second to say thank you to all the comments we get on our website and our YouTube channel. We've literally gotten calls from all over the eastern United States, people telling us that they like these channels, that they're learning things about tractors, and we appreciate that. We would love to help you buy a tractor. Call us at any time at 1-888-559-0586. My name's Jeff, or visit us on the web at goldencircleimplement.com.